Welcome back to Life is Strange. It's time to break into Blackwell with Chloe. Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Yeah, I noticed the lights were on inside the building and then they just turned off while Chloe and Max were talking. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just 
when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. I think there's a couple photo opportunities here. There's definitely one. Uh, that eagle down there on the bottom left, I think that's on the principal's desk. And also, the one of the, the fish, I think that's the fish tank that maybe is in the science lab. I kind of want to just like run over there right now. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. If I remember right, there's nothing around here. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to search there. I don't want to go that way. Oh, dang it. I guess we have to search. Nothing here. Nope, I don't want to go there. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, now we get to explore. Couple more from Warren. Sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Okay. Uh, just talking about the chlorine dioxide. Yeah, okay. Whoops. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? 
trash. Well, yeah, but I mean, trash could include, uh, you know, include the, the, the soda can. Just emptied. Nothing here. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. Okay, science lab is on this side. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh yeah, I think you're, aren't you given the chance to like doctor this and change the grade or something? Yeah, change grade. Nah. <laughs> I think Warren will live with a single B minus. You deserve oh, way no, no, more no. than this for taking on Nathan, but... Every little grade count. Whoops. Meant to grab the sugar. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here. Didn't blow up yet. Not yet. Need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Ass biology. Oh, gross. <laughs> Max takes shitty selfies. Fuck you, Victoria. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Hmm. Might not find that in this lab then. Might be with like Samuel's stuff. Yeah, I think we can take a photo here. We're not? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Can I feed them? Somehow? Oh, just turn Good it on. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Oh, a photograph of that, too. So there's at least three photographs in here then. Let's check photography class. This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. From Wells Jefferson, I want to drop you an informal note to let you know Blackwell is conducting an investigation into the events of this week. So be receiving an official notice in the mail, but you deserve to be told about this now. Respect your work and blah, blah, blah. Hope this all works out in your favor. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. 
But he does have some style. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. Okay, just need the sodium chlorate. Ah, here it is. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. If I remember right, the explosion creates enough noise to alert somebody, but I think I think uh, Max ends up going to the other side and then rewinding time and then like unlocking the door from the inside. Or something really cool like that. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department! Uh, so what should we do? Oh, that's not it. Hey, Chloe. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Let's get a picture of that. Oh. So, did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. Do we need to take a picture from the other side? No, I think the bird has something on it, doesn't it? It's wearing something around its neck. So I need to find something and put it on the neck. Is there like a... oh yeah, a lamp. That helped. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil painting spill. <laughs> Awful. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as Principal Blackwell Academy, it is my 
glad, happy, fortunate, duty? Are those like... Oh, and then written over. Corrected. Uh, to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and blah blah blah. I mean, it's written by Principal Wells, so whatever. Wow, sir. This will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Should read this, definitely. Uh, Rachel Amber stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. GPA 4.0. Oh, and then down below, Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi, just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arp Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached to police report. Or police reports, plural. 1.7 GPA. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. It's <laughs> not weird at all. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. From Sean Prescott to Wells, it's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library. Of course. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. 
We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Oh, that's right. Donation money. I can't remember whether I took it before. I don't think I did. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> I'm, I'm certain. I, I'm absolutely certain that I did not take this money before because there's no way I would. It's for the handicapped fund. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh my god. The only the only reason, well I guess there's two reasons, but the main reason I would steal the money is just to do something different from what I did last time. Not that I'm exactly trying to do that with this replay through. I'm kind of considering what I did before to see if I want to do something different, but I'm not making it a specific goal to do everything differently than I did before, or anything like that. So it doesn't have to be a different decision, but I am a little bit curious. And the other reason is just because, well, obviously Chloe could use it. But I mean, the handicapped people that would benefit from that money could obviously use it as well. I forgot. What happened last time I did something with the money? Like, did, did anything ever come of that? Just for the sake of doing something different, just because I'm curious, I'm going to steal the money and just see what happens. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this before. I know it's absolutely wrong, and in a normal playthrough, I would not do this. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. You're not so tacky up close. So where do I find that necklace to put on it? Is it not in this office itself? Let me take a look around. Well, I think this is going to have to be another missed picture. I have no idea where that necklace comes from. I can't find it in this room. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway, we're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. <laughs> Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.